Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. It's Katie. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I will be dyeing my hair again for the second time using the Lise Bubble Hair Color. The last time that I colored my hair was two months ago, so I think it's time to color my hair again. As much as possible, we don't want to abuse our natural hair, so make sure that you at least wait for two months. That's my suggestion. And of course, you also want to have a healthy hair, so you don't want to abuse that. So I got this product on Amazon, same thing. I also got my Lise Milky Brown on Amazon as well. And I believe I paid $12 for this one. And this is not just available in the US, this is also available worldwide. So before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel or even like this video. And if you know someone that is interested with the Lise Bubble Hair Color, especially in this shade, please do share my video or comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions for me. So this is my current hair color. I use the Lise Milky Brown. And right now, it looks a little brassy. As you can see, it looks orangey or there's a right term for it. Um, it looks brassy already. So, and, and then my roots right here is, you can see the dark, the black hair here, probably about like two inches, two and a half inches long. So that means that I really need to color my hair. I am aiming for this shade, but I doubt that I will get it because it really depends to your hair color. But these are the results that you will get. So obviously if your hair is dark like this one, you will get a darker mint ash color. If your hair is this color, then you will get a lighter result. If your hair is like this, then you will get a lighter result. There you go. I think, I think my hair color right now is the one in the middle. So we should be getting this result right here in the middle. Okay, so what's inside the box? The solution too. And then it also comes with the pump that you will be using later on. It's a treatment packet, which is um, this conditioner right here. You need this later once you're done uh, putting your bubble hair color on your hair. And then it also comes with this one. These are the instructions, but this is in Japanese, so I already know how to use this, um, but I will still show you guys how to. It also um, has the skin test patch, which we will be using later. I will show you guys how to use it. And then it also comes with, of course, the solution one, which is the base color for the hair color. <laughs> okay, so um, let's go ahead and open this thingy. So it comes with the gloves and here, your gloves, a pair of gloves. The instructions are here on how to do the skin patch allergy test. Okay, so the goal is uh, for these paper to look like this. This is the number two, which you will be um, which you will be using for this one, and then this is the number one, which is you will be using for this solution right here. And then we're gonna grab our um, we're gonna grab this one, which is this is the paper where we're gonna put the solution. Okay, so we have our Q-tips right here. We will be using this to patch this um, the solution in our skin. So we're just gonna open this one. Just be careful in opening it, not like how we opened it. Okay. Just slowly open both, and then you're gonna go ahead and use this paper right here, which says that this is for number two. So you're gonna go ahead and put the number two solution, just a little drop right here. There is uh, an instruction anyway, so you're gonna put it in number two. And if we're in solution number one, you're gonna put it right here. So we're just gonna, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead, and go ahead and do that, guys. So just, so yeah, so just dip it. And then we're gonna drop a little bit on the number two. And then we will use this one because this is for the number one solution. So just dip it. 
and then carefully oh my gosh what am I doing carefully drop it to the number one see the yellow so we're just gonna go ahead and mix it just gonna go ahead and mix it like that and then once you're done mixing you're gonna put it on your arm in your skin maybe somewhere right here and you're supposed to wait for at least 48 hours to see if you're allergic to it i've used this before so i'm not gonna go ahead and uh, do the allergy patch test again all right um i think we're set so i'm just gonna go ahead and follow the instructions apply the solution one to solution two go ahead and slowly do that do not ever shake this one so just invert it to at least 180 degrees so we're gonna do it slowly five times so one two three four five now that we're done mixing it i'm gonna go ahead and add the pump so it has to snap by the way so listen so this is the repair treatment, so make sure to use this later once you're done. I have my gloves right here, so we're just gonna go ahead and start the color. So you're supposed to hold this like this, and then just squeeze it. time and attention won't you give some of it to me i've been lonely lately Ooh, really strong smell. i've been feeling neglected and i want you to show me can we get back on the same page tonight can we stay and why don't you The goal is to make your hair covered with bubble like this. So you have to leave it for at least 20 minutes and then rinse your hair with the repair treatment and uh, no shampoo, just use this one and I'll be right back. Instead of giving me presents, you're not getting off that easily. Hey guys, so I'm back. As you can see, this is the results of the hair color. I also have another video of Alise Bubble Hair Color Milky Brown and that's what I used two months ago. And so right now I decided to color my hair because I want to get rid of my dark roots or my black roots. I didn't use any shampoo. I just used the repair treatment packet. It didn't actually 100% achieve what's in the box or the color of the hair color in the box. But what I'm happy about is that it's not brassy anymore. And um, my hair feels really soft. Yeah, so you can see my roots looks really pretty. So right now I'm in the shade. I'm in the patio. So I'm going to go ahead, step out um, under the sun so you guys can see what it looks like. And yes, yeah, so as you can see, it looks lighter. <laughs> and um, yeah, my hair looks really pretty under the sun. I think it's actually really nice. I think someone commented from my old video like what's my hair care routine but I don't really have one to be honest and uh, I will put a picture of the shampoo that I use somewhere right here <laughs> just so you guys can check that out but I don't use conditioner I, I only use shampoo and as much as possible I wash my hair every two days so going back to the hair color it looks pretty it looks nice and um, you don't see any black um, hair around my roots which is pretty and yeah it's really bouncy yeah 
I think after two months, um, I will be trying another color. And there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for staying with me. I know this is quite a long video, but I really appreciate your time for watching this video. Let me know what you think about the hair color. Give me a suggestion on which color do you want me to try next in two months. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Stay safe. Bye!